All right, class. As we were discussing last week, the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Now we're looking at what the federal government has decided to do. There are great changes in the federal law. Those changes are going to help combat centuries and centuries of racial discrimination. Latanya? Right. Um, with those centuries and centuries of racial discrimination, I just, I'm not getting it because We've had benchmark civil rights legislations, and that was over 60 years ago. So I just, why are we having so many problems with systemic like racism today? I just, I don't know. Well, laws have changed. Oh my God, we can Latani, like, can you just ever stop talking about racism? It's like, you're being annoying. Can we just give it rest? Thank you. Okay, racist much? <laughs> racist. Oh, thank right. you, racist. You're so funny. All right, all right, Latanya and Donald. This is why we are discussing this. You have differences of opinions about this. And that's something we are going to address throughout all of this. All right? So let's get back on the task at hand. Miss Thomas, I agree with Donald. I mean, racism is real, very much real, but sometimes it does become a crutch. Excuse me? What world are you living in, Marcus? There are a lot of other things to talk about other than racism. So let's just talk about something else. Okay, if we're afraid to talk about it right now, we're not gonna have any change in the future. Hey, okay, exactly. but are you changing? Like, no, because okay. it's okay. 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 All right, all right, enough, enough. Enough, guys. Assistant Principal Stern has just received a report from Ms. Thomas about the incident that occurred in her classroom. He meets with Ms. Caring, who's a school counselor and the school's anti-bullying specialist. Assistant Principal Stern briefly summarizes what he learned from Ms. Thomas. Ms. Caring comments that there has been a history of prior conflict between Donald and Latanya. Mr. Stern asks Ms. Caring to initiate an investigation to determine if anything that occurred in Ms. Thomas' classroom constitutes harassment, intimidation, or bullying. Ms. Caring then asks that LaTanya be directed to come to her office. Hi, LaTanya. Have a seat. Come in. Thank you for coming. Any problem? So, LaTanya. You know that we are committed to providing a safe learning environment that supports all of our students. Okay. So, Latanya, can you just help us understand what happened in social studies class this morning? I'll tell you what happened. I've had it up to here with Donald and his racist rants. It happens every single day. Right now we're doing the civil rights movement and obviously I'm gonna have some things that I wanna bring up. But then he also wants to tag along and it's something always just so wrong and i'm sorry but if he's racist i'm going to call him racist it's not me he's doing something and no one wants to say anything so obviously hi donald come on in have a seat thank you for coming like i had a choice all right donald just relax we just want to understand what happened in ms thomas's class this morning but Donald, before you answer, I really want you to understand what my role is here, okay? Obviously, you know I'm your school counselor, but I'm also our school's anti-bullying specialist. So it really is important if you just tell us what exactly happened in social studies class today. You mean Latanya picking another fight? Well, what do you mean another fight? She does this all the time. She constantly calls me racist. If I don't agree with anything she has to say, I'm racist? It's not cool. And then, she says these things about me online, and then everyone is starting to believe it. And then she says these.